Hello everyone, welcome back to Diabetes. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for individuals managing diabetes, the potential dangers of consuming wheat. Wheat, a staple in many diets around the globe, is a significant source of carbohydrates. For those who are not familiar, carbohydrates break down into sugars in our bodies. Now this is where the connection to diabetes comes in. You see, these sugars influence both insulin production and sensitivity. If you're managing diabetes, you know that insulin is the key player in maintaining stable blood sugar levels. When we consume wheat, the carbohydrates it contains break down into sugars, triggering a response that can lead to challenges in blood sugar regulation. So the wheat on your plate might have more of an impact on your diabetes than you might have thought. Understanding this connection is the first step in managing your diet effectively. Next, let's talk about the glycemic index, GI, and how it relates to wheat. The glycemic index is a tool that measures how quickly a food raises blood sugar levels after consumption. The higher the GI, the faster your blood sugar levels spike. Now, wheat products such as bread and pasta often have a high GI. What this means is that eating these foods can cause a rapid and significant increase in your blood sugar levels. For those managing diabetes, this rapid spike can be particularly concerning. It can contribute to difficulties in blood glucose control, a core aspect of managing diabetes. This is because the body may struggle to produce enough insulin to keep up with the sudden influx of sugar, or the body's cells may not respond effectively to insulin. Understanding this relationship between the glycemic index and wheat is crucial. Knowing the GI of wheat products can help you make informed decisions about your diet. Many processed wheat products also contain hidden sugars. You may not see sugar listed on the label, but ingredients like maltose, dextrose, or high fructose corn syrup are all forms of it. These covert culprits lurking in everything from bread to pasta can contribute to elevated blood sugar levels. It's a bit like a sugar ambush, hidden within these seemingly harmless wheat-based foods. Being vigilant about reading food labels is a key part of managing diabetes. As we wrap up, let's discuss alternatives for individuals with diabetes. Rather than relying on wheat, consider whole grains with lower glycemic indexes such as quinoa or brown rice. You could also experiment with gluten-free options. However, remember, what works for one person may not work for another. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional or a dietitian who can guide you in tailoring a diet to your specific needs. Finding alternatives that work for you is a crucial part of managing diabetes. Thank you for joining us today on Diabeters. We've explored the impact of wheat on diabetes, the significance of the glycemic index, hidden sugars in wheat products, and possible alternatives to consider. Remember, knowledge is power in managing diabetes. If you found this video helpful, why not share it, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe for more insights. With us, you'll stay on top of your health game. Until next time, take care and stay informed. This is The Diabeter, signing off.